Hello, talented souls. This is Luna. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Happy New Year. This is the first reading after, you know, for the new year. And I'm going to do a career, finance, and life purpose prediction for the um, talent and the design of Sagittarius and the rat. And I decided to combine the Western with the East, Eastern astrology as um, there are similarities in terms of the personality traits between the rat and Sagittarius, and there are different combinations. But the idea is, if you're a rat and a Sagittarius, then, okay, fantastic. If you're only Sagittarius, you know, take what resonates. If you're only a rat, then take what resonates. The idea is I saw, okay, why not to combine both, you know? Um, one, uh, obviously, the Eastern astrology is based on the year that you were born, and the Western is based on the month, and I thought that it would be fun. And... Um, and yes, and uh, we're going to check on the year in four quarters. And then I'm going to support this information with different questions uh, with these five, uh, four decks here. So we have five decks in total. Okay. If you want, let's just start. Then. If you want to know more about me, please read, uh, you know, in the box under. Send me a comment, uh, share, like, subscribe. If you want a personal reading. Happy to help. I have 20 years career in human resources and, um, you know, and recruitment. And I have been loving Tarot since I was 16. And I decided to combine this and I started this channel just to be able to help more people from every single angle possible. And I think this is a great way. So here we are. Let's see what is in the year of 2020 for Sagittarius and the rat so the first quarter second quarter of the year 2020 third quarter year 2020 and final quarter year 2020 okay so now we'll put here so we kind of separate okay okay so where we are at the beginning of the year queen of earth amazing and the magician, wow, Sagittarius, wow, rat, okay? This is an amazing start of the year. You're manifesting, you're manifesting your dreams, okay? You are the queen. You are the queen. The queen is the ultimate, uh, you know, financial career success uh, queen, okay? The queen of her has achieved material success, uh, personal success, everyone trusts her. Okay, so you are in a position of wealth. Okay, that's how you start the year. You love what you do, you are in power, and on top of that, you know your power and you are manifesting, you are doing a lot of new things. You are starting new ideas, new ventures. I have the feeling some of you will be an entrepreneur. Okay, uh, I have the feeling of an entrepreneur, you're playing new ideas, dropping new things here and there, and you know that they will manifest, okay? That's a great energy. You are in the secure, safe, and solid position of a queen of earth, and on top of that, you are having all the imagination and the energy to start new things. So I'm getting, you are the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. okay? And some of you, if not, no, you're not an entrepreneur, you are part of a business that you own your area. You are kind of a business owner or something. Mm? Okay, well done. The next two, uh, the next three months. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woman or men? Woman or, uh, I mean, dear friend, uh, gentleman or lady, I mean, you are in your Mexican year. Whatever you start in the first three months of the year is going to be successful. Successful, 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 successful. And you know why? Because you have the queen and the king. This is like a power couple, but this is your feminine side and your masculine side, okay? You also have, the fire is the ones. You have the creativity, the passion. To get an idea and make it happen from your heart. Because the king of fire, the king of fire, the king of wands, 
is someone that has all the passion to make they pa his or her passions reality okay so whatever you put your mind in it is a success oh my god well this is the last sign that i'm doing by the way this is the last reading because i have done 12 already this is the last one sagittarius and rat my goodness me what what a first six months of the year this is amazing business you have the brain for business okay and if you have if you i mean if you're moving out of a job i mean you're an entrepreneur you, you you can run any business you have then you have the ability okay what happened in the next uh quarter this is uh, july august september mm, travel and the king of <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, it's power, power, power. Okay, uh, six affair is you're going for a trip because a new opportunity comes, you're going to, you're going to a travel for work, of course, because you want to do the thing the thing that you do here abroad. Okay? The world is the is your oyster. The world I mean he doesn't have an oyster, but well the oyster is there. The world is your oyster. Okay, so you dominate the earth, you dominate the passions and the fire. Sorry, the fire, of course. You dominate the earth, you dominate the fire. Now you want to dominate the water. Maybe you're thinking about, you know, building a business related to water. I have no idea. But your next ambitious is abroad. Okay, is crossing the Atlantic, crossing the Pacific. Who knows? You are going really far. Because, I mean, this is a flying boat. You're going very far to fulfill a new business that is related to something that you are very passionate about it. You love it. Something that you love, that you never have the opportunity to do it. But because now you're in this manifestation move, now that you have achieved all these things, now you're in a very powerful position, why not dream very big? Why not reach for the stars? And this is a project that will be more from the heart, okay? Something that is in your heart that you always wanted to do. The good news is that it's abroad, okay? It could be a business around a property business in, a, in the Caribbean. I don't know. I'm just saying something. Uh, building... Um, Building a school for kids in a, in a different different place, going back home because maybe you are you are abroad here and this is going back home as well for some of you and building something uh, and creating a business for the people that is in your own country, okay? Maybe you are already abroad, you su you are successful abroad and now back home or successful home and go abroad to extend your abilities to the world. Wow, two kings, one queen, a magician, and a star. You know how many? I mean, you have two major arcanas and three powerful leadership roles. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I want to meet you. <laughs> no, like, please tell me something if you read, if you come across this video. You know, I want to know. Okay, and I want to know what you are doing. That's what I want to know. What is this plan? Okay. It's powerful. Okay. What is going to happen on the last three months of the year? This is October, November, December. Messenger of fire and love. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You find the you find the things that you love. You find the thing that you love. Messenger of fire, I'm getting the feeling that you will I'm getting the feeling from some of you, this is not for of you, that your daughter or your uh, your your son or your daughter, you're going to bring your son and your daughter to your business, and this is the first time you're stepping into something like this. Uh, you're not sure about you know bringing the I mean not sure about bringing uh, her in her or him into leading one of your business, but you're going to help your son or your daughter. Okay, this is for some of you. For others of you, for others of you, this is one message. 
and because this is a general reading, I have to check on everything. When you get into this business that is very emotional for you, you become a messenger of fire, meaning that you become not king, sino que you feel like you are young again. You feel like you are kind of a little bit starting over. Not so much, obviously, because a messenger of fire is a knight of fire. It's not someone that has zero, zero experience. But you feel again, like this. In, you feel again, like I'm in something new. I feel younger again. I feel like I need to learn new things again. And because you're very, I mean, you you are someone that always, always has been learning. Okay. And because you f you are in this kind of mindset, okay. You find what you love. You have fat. You finally have a beautiful balance. This is a lady. <coughs> that dominate control a lion for me this is you both are you so you manage to dominate the lion that is inside you meaning that you give love to the lion because you are a lion you are someone that creates so much and can accomplish so much you are a leader okay and you kind of realize that you have also this fulfilling your 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 passion, your love, something that you love will bring you love. Will bring you the feeling of full, fully the bliss, the bless of being in love with one with yourself. This is with yourself. Okay? It's like bringing love back. Because when you give love, you get love. Okay? And when you give when you give um money you get money okay when you give passion you get passion okay you know this dynamic so when you follow because obviously you need to accomplish these things first because you're very let's say on the ground okay very determined very passionate very very much on the money okay when you do that you you take the opportunity to you know to go into this endeavor which is more like a emotional endeavor you feel like a kid again and you rediscover your self-love. You rediscover the part of you that is more loving, that is dominating the beast. And you get this. I get the feeling that you want to feel this again. I don't know why. You want to feel this again. And you get that love back. Okay? This is like a cycle. This is like getting everything that you want. You get the star. You get the love, you get the magician, two kings, energy, one queen energy, the travel, and the kid inside of you, okay? Or you help your kid, one of the two. And you fell in love with you again because you love your kid. I mean, I mean, family, business. It could be also as well, okay? And everyone is happy, and your kids are happy, or you are happy. That could be the other option, okay? Take what resonates. The next card is a card about, about the finance. This is another advice, another, another message from my spirit regarding your finance on 2020, okay? It could be anything. It's just what you need to know regarding finance uh, this year, besides this, that you will accomplish so many things. Five of abundance, okay? This is five of coins. The five of abundance is accept the help of others. He said, there are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't to go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help from those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. What I'm getting here is that you need to help this person. Okay? Um, this is a message for some of you. The, five of, the, the other message from uh, uh, Abundance Message is that you need to share and you, you need to help this person. And it's, it's a person that needs your hand. You are the one giving the hand. And in doing that act, the gesture of uh, you know of kindness, you will receive far more financially. Okay, and if this is you, doesn't matter. This is a lesson in terms of finance. I think this is a lesson to give to others a little bit more. Okay, younger, younger people, or let's say less experienced people. Maybe your your work, you hire a lot for your endeavors. You hire a lot of graduates, people just, you know, after school, you know, and that will be very, very helpful for you, okay? So pay attention to graduate, inter, in, let's say, internships, 
you know, these young people will really help you, okay? You will reconnect with yourself again. This is which is, who is the goddess that you are becoming this year? And what is the light that you will share with others as you become this goddess? Rebirth, oh my God. The reverse is, I mean, the reverse is a beautiful card. I think you are finding yourself again. Okay? So I is the rebirth. I think when you find this love, you rebirth. Okay? I, I, I mean, if you want a, a love reading, you know, I'm, I'm not focusing on love. But I see this, the love of your family, the balance in love, the balance between what you love, what you do. For me, this six is a number of balance, okay? This is about finding balance. This is two, two pillars, okay? This is finding balance in your inner power, finding balance between your emotional side and your, you know, your fighting and your earth side, side and you feel a rebirth, okay? And that's the, les that's the lesson that you will learn this year, and that's the light uh, you will share with the world. That you can be so successful, so successful, but don't forget to give to others. Don't forget to, to focus on yourself. Don't forget love. All these last, these three months, uh, these six months are about manifestation. And you, these are about giving to something else. Okay? These are cards about what you need to know this year about your life purpose. What you need to know that align you better with your life purpose this year? Builder. Oh my God. Three times I get builder. This is no coincidence. Okay? So uh, you are you build empires. I mean, that's it. You're a builder of business. You build businesses. You are an entrepreneur. You have an eye for things that will make, that be, will be successful. Look at how he's looking at the horizon. You are this person. You build business, and in those business, make sure you help younger, younger people. Those younger people will bring back your own love. You will feel so much love, and you will be rebirthed in that love. That's what I'm getting from you. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And this card here is about who is going to be your main help. Who is the person that is going to help you to achieve this? Because we never do things alone. We're all connected. So who is the person that is going to help you the most in this journey? Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Yes, it's about being whole. It's about being, you know, complete. Being complete. It's about earth, fire, water, love, air as well, magician, brain power, star, shining. This is someone that is close to you, okay, that remind you about the importance to have a balance, okay? This is someone that you trust so much with your heart. There is someone very similar to you, you know, it's a fire, fire sign maybe. Uh, fire sign is an Leo, Aries, and uh, Sagittarius. Maybe for some of you, no need to check on that, but that's what I'm getting. And it's someone that has been you since you were very little. I think it's a friend. I get the vibe of a friend. Sorry about the dog. Sorry about that. I get the vibe of a friend, someone very close to you, that has always been with you and see this light. See this love that you need to share. See the love inside you. And it's someone that connects you with your, um, with your, it grounds you. Someone that grounds you, okay? It's a friend that has always been with you and will always be with you and will give you inner strength. It gives you inner strength across this journey. Okay, and this is your reading. Okay, hope it resonates. We will know at the end of the year, of course. But if this is aligned with your plan, please let me know. 
I look forward to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope again this help. Have an amazing year and uh, you know, and looking forward to connect with you again. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.